Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Protego! Revelio! where they're leading me. That glow again. Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Potato! Lumos! with their reflections. 
It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here.
Revelio. did you? What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder... too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We will... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ramrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. 
Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas Nigellus Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has. Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat.
Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain... expectations. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm, what is it? Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. You belong in Slytherin! Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honour to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well.
Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Revelio. I suppose some introductions are in order. Well, I suppose... No. Can I help you? Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallo. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough, but not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Revelio. going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. You should have listened to me. Ah, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills on a broom are legendary. Perhaps Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Goodbye, Amelda. Nice meeting you. I... I think I heard... 
third one. Hm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin. One of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status. A pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Rebellion! Rebellion. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Revelio. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Do keep up! Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue? 
and see what details the field guide can provide. open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Revelio. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. 
Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about... Exploring ruins. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. 
I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Revelio. Rebellion. Rebellion. Why do students always frown? They should burn the castle down. You. It took us three days to find your brother, and your mother almost fucked up. Love what survives the reign of this headmaster. I think we should have a moon calf in charge. enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. 
Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Levioso! Let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with the basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, Levioso first. Well done. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel, using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. This should be easy. Levioso, this can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Protego. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. You drool. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, 
or sneaking into the restricted section of the library. You just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Rebellion. Off on another adventure, are we? Revelio. Professor Ronan Revelio. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing Obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now.
Ezekiel. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off, hmm? Very simply, cast Akio on Machio's ear and relinquish. Splendid! Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. Very good! Excellent control there. Very good. Points to Slytherin. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Let us see That is how it's done. Well done. Here we go. Make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Hey, enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us do this. How it's done.
There you go. Both of you, well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle, like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Akio this, Akio that. Cut Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. A word, if you would. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. 
Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Revelio. Hello. You? you wanted to speak to me? Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Revelio. Revelio. What are you up to now? Revelio. Rebellion. Awful when they ask you a question now, isn't it? Clubby little faces. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. 
Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streela. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spellcrafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavoury local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. 
A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. We will have you casting Rapero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Got it. Page must be around here somewhere. Revelio. The preliminary task. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted... Repair! Looking for me? Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. I 
was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes, I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Look, from the forbidden forest, hippogriffs. I wonder if something started them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named them too. That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is rebellion. I think they're calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Revelio. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland. Revelio! It's beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? 
Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys, Dougley and Arian. Terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. Rebellion. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, uh, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, 
There you are. Yes. I think you might be the one. Here. Take it. Curious indeed. How intriguing. What do you think? Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda's student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I too see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture, or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we?
If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Hello, looking for me? Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. 
Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I Revelio. thought you would enjoy better be in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. <sighs> I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient... I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a Butterby in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. <sighs> I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient ruins. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. Revelio! This has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you see them, you can also use them in potion making. Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs. 
Absolute. Why can we already named them too? Prance Hoof and Sugarfoot. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Pass that ruin. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much Rebellion. Can I side of the castle. <laughs> How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of Rebellion. a rebellion, I would say. Hopefully, it will for you too. What's for where? Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, ugly and airy and. Terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. And Rebellion! It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for Butterbeer. And you can get any sort of you can imagine at Honeybees. I could not choose a favorite shop. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Revelio.
Rebellion. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience hogs meet at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Nothing like finding just... If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. A pleasure doing business with you. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? 
Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Hmm. Uh, no, 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 not you. Um. Ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. No, not you. Uh, uh, perhaps... Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Dragon Heartstring Wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Curious indeed. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. 
<laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Revelio.
Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion-making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess, you're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Revelio.
Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Took him long enough. We need to make sure he stays that way. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Oh, hello there. A, a moment. Repairer. Rebellion. 
nice to see you, my young friend. Just talking about you. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something. Much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad... I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Shall we head to the Three Broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. I sell even more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Rebellion. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade, that all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did 
Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> How timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ominous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry.
Revelio. Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. Hello? Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Following a Hogwarts treasure map? Count me in. Wonderful! Hogwarts fascinates me! You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Rebellion.
Revelio. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade, with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me, and he would have had Sorona and the patrons at the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit, before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. ...defending Hogsmeade against trolls. You know, there is such a thing as trying too hard. Rebellion. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I most please be included.
Don't get too cocky simply because you had one victory over Sallow. Revelio. Rebellion. Rebellion. Ah, a rhinoceros skeleton. I'm on the right track. Lumos. The unfairness of being hung here. Why it warrants looking in. Rebellion. Lumos. Someone else trying to pass through. I'd be careful if I were you. Even Ferdinand Octavius Pratikas. Accio! Revelio.
seems like to me. Revelio. Revelio. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. Rebellion. Seems crossed ones isn't as secret as it's believed to be. If only a new student were to help me with my sad predicament. Might some kind soul help me? Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Oak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls. Like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. I haven't much interest in a game that sprays you with odors. Only if you lose, which I never do. 
Or at least, not often. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. Off on another adventure, are we? Revelio.
my Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Is everything all right? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm Nelly, by the way. I'm just so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumour is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. I hope you follow a few keys at least. If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. The Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. Oh, Revelio. Rebellion. how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Revelio.
A Zedalian key. I wonder where it might lead me. There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in there? Yes! An old coin. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. If it's seeds I'm after, I'll always go for the magic leaf. I've upset the magic tree not too many times. Revelio. Rebellion. Might as well be surrounded by Jarvis. to follow one of the Dedalian keys. Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant. What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like some sort of house token. I bet it unlocks house chests. I call them house chests. I've seen the one in Gryffindor and heard they're also in the other common rooms as well. Keep an eye out. I do hope you continue on. For so much effort, the prize must be something grand. I should see this through and find the Slytherin house chest. Ugh, what am I missing? Hello, I, I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello, I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting! I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin.
If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find... Hello, Lenora. Could you remind me what's so special about that empty painting? It's not necessarily special, as far as I can tell. It's some sort of puzzle that I'm trying to work out. Have a look if you're of a mind. Perhaps you can spot a clue that I've missed. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Levioso. Lumos. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special? Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Ha! I knew there was a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. The Nora! I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! Revelio. Revelio. What are you up to now? Rebellio. This must be... Seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open this. Quite a few by the look of it.
Rebellion. Rebellion. Off limits to me. Yes, I won't be going up there. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I most need Revelio. Rebellion. Off on another adventure, are we? When what was lost has been found, 
The brother's betrayal will turn the tides of war. Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Rebellion.
Revelio. Lumos. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Revelio.
Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio! Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. How nice to see you, my young friend. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos.
Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Revelio. When mentor and student collide, a path must be chosen. What are you up to now? Revelio. Revelio. Off on another adventure, are we? Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. 
Lumos. Rebellion. Revelio. Rebellion. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. When the Forgotten One's true power is revealed. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included.
ancient secrets bring forth an age of magic with the rise of a new hero. Rebellio. Revelio. Been having strange dreams of late. Rebellion. How nice to see you, my young friend.
I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Rebellion! How inconvenient travel was before I invented this That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Rebellion!
Revelio. What are you up to now? they not be allowed to attend. Couldn't agree more. Not to mention... had more luck than I did tracking down my gob- Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all my future victories to you. Speaking of which... Now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. looks promising.
This looks like the portrait from the map. And where's the treasure? Revelio. Accio. Uh -huh. There was a doorway hidden within the portrait. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Lumos. <laughs> Revelio. Got it. Revelio. Rebellion.
Revelio. Revelio. What have you learned? Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky! Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder if a quick rummage round Weasley's office might yield anything interesting.
said that travel broadens the mind. Rebellion.
Revelio. Lumos. Rebellion. This is where they put me. If Hogwarts survives the reign of this headmaster, I think we should have a moon calf in charge. Good. Thought as much. Not for the meek. Please, Peas, you'll make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp, sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. Revelio. But he failed us in his containment jar. So I took my revenge to re Revelio. Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up. I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end, wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And, to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Crossed Ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. Let's go! 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 Let's go!
Repair it. Luma. work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. In fact, the second duel is ready when you are. And as a fully initiated member, you now have access to the official Crossed Ones training dummy. Very good way to master spell combinations. Come and see me and I'll set it up. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Ones all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance.
Bravo! I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Assignment's all finished. Ha <laughs> ha! 